I hope you like it. Now we'll move uh, to Italy, where Giada will tell us a little bit more about the book uh, that translates into Not Just Fatigue and the conference they held last year. Giada? Hello, it's uh, great uh, to be here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a president of a CFS Semi Italian Association since 1999. Well, this year we truly wanted to be a global voice for MECFS, so we started a podcast and we were guests uh, um, uh, on a, a platform called uh, WIPI, which is about female empowerment and uh, diversity inclusion. And um, uh, Marcella Maria Spirito, who is uh, a psychology and psychotherapist uh, who leads support groups uh, for patients, and I uh, recorded 10 episodes of this uh, podcast and uh, we dedicated five episodes uh, to, to the condition. So we spoke about the symptoms, post exertional malaise, uh, the name and many other topics. And uh, then we dedicated five episodes to interviews. Two episodes uh, were interviews to uh, two physicians, Professor Tirelli and Professor Baritussio. One was uh, uh, the testimony of uh, two patients. One was uh, dedicated to caregivers and one uh, was uh, um, a round table with uh, three psychologists and psychotherapists who uh, have support groups for patients and uh, caregivers. Uh, during this post podcast, uh, we also um, read excer excerpts from uh, the book Non Solo Fatica, I have it here, uh, which means uh, exactly not just fatigue from uh, uh, myalgic encephalomyelitis, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome to long COVID. And uh, this book was written by Professor Tirelli and me and was published at the beginning of uh, last year. And it was a great tool for us because uh, it allowed us uh, to raise awareness uh, through also interviews with papers, uh, magazines, and uh, and television. And, uh, and through the book, uh, we managed to, to speak about MECFS. It's uh, 150 questions and uh, answers that uh, we truly uh, received uh, during uh, our years as uh, workers and volunteers in in this field. And if anyone is interested in uh, translating it, uh, feel free to contact us. We will be very happy to, to do that. Another important thing we did this year was to contact uh, the Dean of all Italian universities uh, that teach medicine. And that uh, means uh, uh, 35 uh, public universities and uh, five private universities. Um, we did this uh, along with uh, another Italian association, which is the CFSM Organizzazione di Volontariato. And basically, we asked them to teach an ECFS, to insert it in the, in the, in the syllabus. Uh, so far, four of them replied to us. Uh, two universities, Trieste and one in Milan, uh, told us that they are already teaching it uh, in their last year of, uh, of uh, studies uh, or in the um, neurology specialization. Two others uh, uh, said uh, Venetian, uh, sorry, um, Firenze and Bologna uh, told us that they were going to forward our request uh, to the head of the departments. And our next step is just that. Contacting the head of departments and contacting uh, the mm, faculty deans. Another important step we we took was to reach forward and uh, have uh, we had a meeting with uh, the um, uh, the head of the um, uh, uh, reference center for the. Um, uh, um, preservation and utilization of uh, donated post-mortem bodies to see if they were willing to study MECFS, and they are. So if patients uh, want to uh, give their, uh, their, their corpses, their bodies, once they are gone to help research, they can contact us, we send them the papers, the forms, that can be uh, written and uh, and sent to to help uh, in also in in this aspect. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> as later uh, 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 as later as possible. And um, well, last but not least, uh, thanks also to the initiative of one of our members, uh, uh, Julia Zera, 
the town of Brescia uh, decided to light up blue their fountain in Piazzale Repubblica on this upcoming uh, May 12th on our uh, ME World Day. And so if you are there uh, around 8 p.m. Uh, on, on that day, you will see the fountain uh, light, light up. Uh, that's all from me and from Italy. We have, uh, unfortunately, meager resources and few people. We are all volunteers, but we try to do the best we can. And we are always uh, happy to have a helpful hand if anyone else wants to contact us and, and volunteer. Thank you all. Awesome to hear about all the work in Italy, uh, about a book, about education. Uh, I think it's also incredible how much it resonates with with me and I'm sure with pretty much everyone uh, on the panel as well. Uh, that, uh, you know, that conversation about conversations about educating uh, doctors. Uh, yeah, that's uh, something that we've all tried. From my own personal experience, we we had a meeting at the, at the Czech Ministry of Health about a month ago, and they told us, yeah, you do realize that even though, even if we recognize the, 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 the diagnosis, it won't mean that the doctors will finally, will, will immediately know what ME-CFS is and how to treat it. Uh, we just told them that we would be absolutely thrilled if, uh, if we could move on to that stage, if we could just move on to educating uh, doctors, because yeah, we do know that that's, uh, 